Excusen, French, Les Gex, English, The Beggars, was a name assumed by the Confederacy of Calvinist Dutch nobles and other malcontents, who from 1566 opposed Spanish rule in the Netherlands. The most successful group of them operated at sea, and so were called Watergesin, French, Gex de Mer, English, Sea Beggars. In the Eighty Years' War, the capture of Brielle by the Watergesin in 1572 provided the first foothold on land for the rebels, who would conquer the Northern Netherlands and establish an independent Dutch Republic. They can be considered either as privateers or pirates, depending on the circumstances or motivations. Origin of the name The leaders of the nobles who signed a solemn league known as the Compromise of Nobles, by which they bound themselves to assist in defending the rights and liberties of the Netherlands against the civil and religious despotism of Philip. Two of Spain were Louis of Nassau and Hendrik van Brederode. On 5 April 1566, permission was obtained for the Confederates to present a petition of grievances called the Request to the Regent, Margaret, Duchess of Parma. About 250 nobles marched to the palace accompanied by Louis of Nassau and Brederode. The Regent was at first alarmed at the appearance of so large a body, but one of her councillors, Berlaymont, allegedly remarked, Nis Papa Madam, Cini Sont K des Gex. The appellation was not forgotten. At a great feast held by some 300 Confederates at the Hotel Cullenberg three days later, Bredrod in a speech declared that if need be they were all ready to become beggars in their country's cause. The name became henceforward a party title. The Patriot Party adopted the emblems of beggarhood, the wallet and the bowl, as trinkets to be worn on their hats or their girdles, and a medal was struck having on one side the head of Philip II, on the other two clasped hands with the motto Fidel o Roy, du square porter la bassesse. The original League of Beggars was short-lived, crushed by Alva, but its principles survived and were to be ultimately triumphant. In the Dutch language the word Cusenarm is used for linguistic reappropriation, a pejorative term used with pride by the people called that way, sea beggars. In 1569 William of Orange, who had now openly placed himself at the head of the party of revolt, granted letters of mark to a number of vessels manned by crews of desperados drawn from all nationalities. Eighteen ships received letters of mark, which were equipped by Louis of Nassau in the French Huguenot port of La Rochelle, which they continued to use as a base. By the end of 1569, already 84 sea beggars ships were in action. These fierce privateers under the command of a succession of daring and reckless leaders, the best known of whom is William de la Marque, Lord of Lumi, were called sea beggars, gex de mer, in French, or waterjusen, in Dutch. At first they were content merely to plunder both by sea and land carrying their booty to the English ports where they were able to refit and replenish their stores. However, in 1572, Queen Elizabeth I of England abruptly refused to admit the sea beggars to her harbours. No longer having refuge, the sea beggars, under the command of Willem Blois van Treslen, made a desperate attack upon Brielle, which they seized by surprise in the absence of the Spanish garrison on 1 April 1572. Encouraged by this success they now sailed to Flushing, which was also taken by a coup de main. The capture of these two towns prompted several nearby towns to declare for revolt starting a chain reaction that resulted in the majority of Holland joining in a general revolt of the Netherlands, and is regarded as the real beginning of Dutch independence. In 1573 the Sea Beggars defeated a Spanish squadron under the command of Admiral Bossu off the port of Horn in the battle on the Zuiderzee. Mixing with the native population, they quickly sparked rebellions against Duke of Alba in town after town and spread the resistance southward. Some of the forefathers of the Dutch naval heroes began their naval careers as sea beggars, such as Evert Heinrich N., the grandfather of Cornelis Evertsen the Elder, Cusen Symbols, 
as part of a propaganda campaign including prints, pamphlets and much else. Many cues and medals were created as badges of affiliation, using a wide range of symbolism, including that associated with the Ottoman Empire. William I of Orange sought Ottoman assistance against the Spanish King Philip II. The Cusan were expressing their anti-Spanish and anti-Catholic sentiments. They considered the Turks to be less threatening than the Spaniards. During the years between 1579 and 1582, representatives from Grand Vizier Sokolu Mehmed Pasa traveled several times from Istanbul to Antwerp. The Dutch hardly contemplated life under the Sultan. Moreover, there was no direct contact between the Guzan and the Turkish authorities. The Turks were considered infidels, and the heresy of Islam alone disqualified them from assuming a more central role in the rebels' propaganda. In popular culture, the Guzan are featured very prominently in Dutch and Flemish popular novels, such as Charles de Costa's The Legend of Thylulam Spiegel and Lama Godak and comic series such as Cory, De Sheep Sion Gun by Bob de Moore. Teal Eulen Spiegel and De Guzan by Willy van der Steen and Giles de Geus by Hanke Kolk and Peter de Witt.